going on? Um, it's the next day. It's why, another why vlog. Why are you using that camera? Well, I'm using this camera. This is my camera. You can use the skinny camera. This is, no, this is mine. Oh, maybe I'm I use show the skinny hoodie. camera. Diesel babe. Old school doesn't mean out of style. It's a pretty slick looking hoodie. So anyways, we're headed off to the parents' house. My parents' house this time. We're gonna hang out for a little bit, film something. I don't know what we're gonna film. Reagan said to make a list of things I don't like about her truck or things that I do, but I don't know. I'm just kinda trying to find something. We're desperate for content right now, right? You're the only one that can find things you don't like about this truck. <laughs> Oh, it says you like your oh, so bad. Yeah, but this is my truck, so I can be hard on it. You can't. <laughs> you rolling? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wash up the silver truck. I named it truck because it's a truck. And then we're going to wipe it down with some microfibers. You can see all the grease on the back. All this soot and grease, and it's uh, it's quite grimy, so. We're going to pressure wash it down, take a microfiber towel, wipe it down the best that we can, rehome our dog, and then um, show you guys what it looks like when it's all detailed and done. Okay guys, so we got the truck all detailed the best that we could given the fact that it's not done yet. So when we're done washing it, it's not one of those that we quite yet step back and go, oh wow, look at that build. Not quite to that stage yet, but it's gonna be there very soon. I had my lovely wife Reagan out here help me Guys, go follow her channel, give her some follows, give her some likes. She does a lot of work to help us out behind the scenes. Like you guys have no idea. She does all the website design stuff now. She drops all the new limited clothing items on my website and she does um, some of the designing. Some of the designing is done by a guy named Brent that he's done for, he's done actually a lot of designs for us, but my wife does a lot of stuff now in the developing process of that. Um, she's doing my video editing now and all, all kinds of stuff. So go follow her channel, it's Rosine24V. Subscribe to her, check out her videos. She's trying to keep up with that a little bit more now too. She helped me clean the truck. We still have the ugly hood on it, but that gap in the crease right there by the door, but we did get a new hood for that. So we got the truck clean though, wiped down the stocks that are on it, got everything all wiped down, nice and shiny. Got the interior all wiped down. Beautiful interior on this uh, SLT trim package. 133,000 mile truck. Rear seats all wiped down, vacuumed out. Looks looks exceptionally well. That's the truck all nice and shiny again, which you guys are definitely gonna want, I'm telling you. When this giveaway goes live, January 11th, don't miss out. We did get the new hood for the truck though from a fellow subscriber and viewer. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. We appreciate you. Um, they had this hood for sale. Very, very reasonable. 80 bucks for this new hood. And we're gonna have our paint guy redo the whole thing. He's gonna um, he's gonna sand everything down and reprime it and paint it and make it the color of the truck. That way we don't have this hood with this part here which already looks like it was off another truck anyhow because it's blue underneath but anyway so we're gonna get this hood swapped out and then we have a new grill for it as well new bumper on the way stuff like that it's gonna look good we're super stoked for that and then on top of that new hood that we got today we also picked up the new center console for the resto gen so Corey check this out man it's pretty sweet the new center console for the resto gen is done. I'm so bummed that we didn't have this done before the giveaway was over because I know a lot of people would have loved to have seen the final product. And it wasn't done then, but it's done now for the winter. It's awesome. It's that matching like weathered brown leather, the dominant two-tone color on that seat setup that we have in the blue first gen. That's what it matches. New foam padding in both sides for the armrests, new screws, new fasteners. We're putting the entire thing and uh, it, it just looks really good. They cleaned up the wood, they kept the patina and the, wear, and the weird look on it, but they cleaned it up. It looks super, super good. And I kind of want to keep it that weathered look just because it's from a truck that's almost 30 years old, three decades old. And that's just some of the wear from it over those years. And I just feel like everything else being new, but keeping a little bit of that old rugged appearance just because of the age of the truck, I just feel like it'll tie in with it really well. That's the center console piece, it's done. 
and it is going to look so good. And what we're actually gonna do for the end of this video, I've actually had the thoughts of starting a company around the outdoors and hunting and stuff like that. Um, as you guys probably noticed in my videos, I wear a lot of camo, especially this time of year because I do a lot of deer hunting and I just always just grab a camo jacket and go, which might be in one of our new limited drops coming at some point in this next giveaway for this truck. I love the outdoors, I love hunting and all that stuff, and I've always wanted to do a deer hunting experience giveaway once I had my own properties. And I have my own properties now to be able to do that. So I tossed around the idea on my Instagram, which by the way, I have two Instagram accounts that I use. One is Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks, and one is Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks with the number two on the end. That is it, all other accounts that follow you that look like they're me, but they're not one of those two accounts. Scams, do not message them, report them. They're fake accounts trying to get your information and scam you out of money and stuff. Do not fall for that crap in the direct messages and stuff like that. Anyways, all that being said, I'd like to do a deer hunt giveaway on one of my new properties next season. This season's almost over, ends in about a month. So even if we did a small hunt giveaway, by the time the giveaway would be ran and done, season would be over, so it would be, use, it would be useless for this season. So what I'm thinking about doing is next season doing a deer hunt giveaway and a lot of people went crazy over the idea. A lot of people said, absolutely, I'd love that. Let's do it. And I have a property. It's one of my prized possessions of ground. It's a beautiful property. It's an archery only property because of where it's located, but it's full of deer. Like it is overran with deer. There's so many deer there, it's crazy. You guys went crazy over the idea, so I think we're gonna do that next season. We're gonna run a giveaway to give away a hunting experience with us, and I think you guys are going to be totally happy with it. I mean, it, it, it would be awesome. I haven't been over there and not seen deer. If that says anything, it'll be a lot of fun. So um, I'm gonna leave this video out with some footage of our hunt from yesterday. I was with my buddy Joshua, my brother was out there, and we got some videos of a bunch of does and a really nice buck. And it's one of those things that we're glad that we had the camera out there that day because when you say you see really nice bucks, sometimes people just think you're you're messing like, oh yeah, okay, how nice, really, oh, sure. You know, where's the pictures, where's the videos? So um, enjoy this ending footage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy these clips. What up? What up? Dang, man. What up? I can't even get in this thing. We're running late. We got deer to kill, and we ain't even on the road yet, brother, brother. You good. Well, welcome. They haven't seen you on videos in ages. Last time we filmed a video was when Zadok was working for me last year. Didn't you kill a deer on, yeah. on camera this no, year? No, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, actually, did. yes, you did. Take you just back. didn't get it on video. Yeah, yeah, I missed it by like a yard off. We're on our way right now over to the Ohio property. We've got some new ideas we're gonna try out. But today we're heading over. We've got a doe issue. I'm not gonna pass on my address because I don't want you know, like public hunting property status, you know. But we do need to take out a few more does to make the numbers a little bit more in balance over there. So we're gonna try to do our part in wildlife management, try to take out some does. What do you guys think? I'll kill them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be freaking fun. As long as we can get them. Yeah, so let's get to it. Thighs. With the with the no cam, Joshua with the halon. Let's do it. 